Hello everyone, Dartman101 here and giving you another how-to video here. My uh, HID light, one of my headlights has burnt out and uh, this is going to be a video of me replacing it on how-to on a 2013 Hyundai Genesis sedan uh, technology package. So this one has the HID uh, low beams and uh, halogen high beams. I know some models have either or. So uh, the tools you're going to need are a screwdriver and a 10 millimeter. So let's get to it. First things first, we're going to have to take off the shroud here. It goes all the way around where the headlights and above the rad. You just have to pop these little uh, pins out, and then there's two uh, 10 millimeter bolts holding it in. So I'm going to use my key to do pop those little pins off. Now we're going to take the 10 mil. One. Now we're going to carefully lift it up so we don't lose the pins. I just take the pin, plastic pins out first, so I don't lose any. right off. Alright, while that's off, there's going to be three uh, 10 millimeter bolts that you're going to need to remove. One here, one here, and one right down right there. Alright, sorry guys, I have to record on my phone because my uh, camera died. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three bolts out. Get them loose here. All right, and the last one down there I still need to get, so I'll be back in a sec. As well, if you want to make this a little bit easier, there's an there's an eight millimeter uh, screw that goes into here in the wheel well, and two two plastic pins holding it in, one right there, and one up here. And take those off and you can pull the bumper out so it'll be easier for you to take off the light. So I think I'm ready to go here to pull it out. So inside at the bottom of the light where it sits in, there's these three uh, things down here. So you have to make sure you lift the light up and over that. And the light should come straight out. Like that. 
All right, once we have the light out so we can reach, we just have to turn this. Ooh, it's not very good. The dust cover, take that off. And there's the light, as you can see. This is upside down, by the way. Um, there's two screws on each side, so we need to take that plate off, and then we can remove the bulb. Now, you have to be careful not to drop these screws because they're not, they're just free floating in here. So, usually what I do is I undo them, then I take them off by hand on both sides. Or if you have like a magnet, magnetic uh, screwdriver, that would help. Once you take this bracket off here, I'm going to set it aside. It exposes this and then it just sits in here so you just pull it out. And here we go. This is a D1S bulb. So you just unclip it. There we go. Uh, I don't know why this one is not working. It doesn't look burnt or anything, but we'll see when we put the new one in. So the bulbs I got are from uh, Amazon. These are the RCPs. This is the same uh, manufacturer. Headlights I bought for my motorcycle, but they're LEDs on that one, and they still work pretty good. So in the package it comes with gloves. We're going to skip that, and we're only going to replace one since the other one is still good. And if the other one blows out, I'll just replace it with that one. So here's the new one. 6,000 K, so they're going to be nice and white. And let's try it out, see if it works. Alright, here we go. Ooh, very bright. So that one does work, very nice. Now let's put it all back together. So to make my job a little bit easier, I'm gonna di you disconnect this wire and then I'm gonna remove that and that so I can take the whole thing off. Now I have the light in this position, I can easily screw this uh, bracket back in with the screws so I don't lose them and let's do that all right once it's nice and secure in there like it is we're gonna put back our connection and then we're gonna put the light back in place after we go back into place first screw I'm gonna put in is the one down there so we'll do that by hand as you can see here it goes through that wall It is a pain in the ass to reach. Once we have that done, we put our two bolts here. Now we just gotta fix the bumper in place. And sometimes it is a pain to put this back together. I did scratch my finger fender a little bit, but it's okay. There we go.
Okay. Put one of these in. One in, one to go. This one. This one might be hard because the way it's sitting right now. Oops. There we go. Good enough. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the light. Just got to put on uh, that piece and it's done. You can buy them online for cheap anyway. And that's pretty much it. See what it looks, how it looks. Beautiful. I can hear the now with the auto um now these lights have auto leveling in it so even if you moved uh the little your headlight assembly around in there it'll uh once you start the car it'll all level itself and you should be good thanks for watching this video hopefully it was very helpful uh, please hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you in another video